Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Dallas aka Infernus and welcome back to another tutorial on the Tigger Realm. So today I'm going to be showing you how you can convert any video file into anything you want using a program and this could be helpful because when you're trying to screen record or you have just a uh, recording that's in some sort of uh, file type that's not supported when you're trying to edit it, this could be very uh, crucial because you know you want to edit the video and most programs aren't going to let it happen unless you have like an mp4. So this is going to be very efficient and this is probably the most efficient program to do so that is for free. So first thing you want to do is go to Google. So Google is great. It's going to be splendid in this uh, wonderful journey of converting videos. So this program is free, obviously. I wouldn't be showing you guys something that costs money because, you know, money sucks. Uh, and so, yeah, what you want to do is you want to search in Google Handbrake. Lots of people use it if they want to transcode something or just convert something into a different video file. So it is very helpful, um, and I think there is a full version, but I'm not entirely sure, uh, but I usually just use the free version because free version works. Click the download button for uh, whatever the version it is. I don't know, you could be watching this five years into the future. So almost there, once it's done. Uh, it's gonna be very simple. Basically just press next and agree, and then choose wherever you want it to go. Obviously I already have mine installed, so here you go. This is what it's gonna look like once it's fully loaded. And, um, essentially, there is a lot of options right here. There's an option for the source, there's an option for start, add to quo, uh, show quo, or Q, Q, whatever you want to pronounce it, preview, activity log, and all the other stuff. So, for the source, just go to file and uh, choose whatever source you want. Um, for this, I'm just going to use a Bandicam thing because... Uh, Bandicam is most commonly tried to use to uh, edit in Sony Vegas, and Sony Vegas does not allow Bandicam. And uh, so yeah, I'm just gonna use some random Bandicam file I captured earlier and press open. And there you go. All you need to do is just go into video, and then if you don't know what uh, the frame rate is, just leave same as source, but it's probably gonna be automatically set at 30, so just leave it at 30. Um, all you gotta do is just go over to the right, click high profile. Um, let me just put this back in the 60 because it's gonna change it. And uh, there you go. So, I mean, you could do normal or high profile, but high profile is obviously better because it's higher. And then all you gotta do is just go to the browse and to where you want to uh, save the video file to because that's very helpful. And uh, usually I'll just do some random code. I don't even know because I'm always in a hurry. I'll just do some random like that. And uh, you just press save. And then once you've done that, you just press start. And uh, for instance, I'm gonna show you what it's gonna look like once you've started it. So you're just going to press start and down at the bottom it's going to say preparing and then here's going to be the percentage bar. It's going to tell you how far it is into it. Usually everything's going to be fine. It is going to work 100% of the time and uh, the higher the profile is, I mean you can customize it all you want but I would just recommend going with the high profile. And I'm not sure if it's uh, going to automatically transform it into an MP4 but if you want to change it's going to be right here. Um, so yeah, that is handbrake and uh, definitely very useful. So this is going to be helpful for not only people who are YouTubers, but just, you know, you want to transmit a, a video in Sony Vegas or anything like that. You can't just transmit it straight uh, through a Bandicam file or Windows uh, Media file because most things don't support that. So this is very helpful. And yeah, if I did help you guys, make sure you go ahead and smash uh, the big blue hand thing. And uh, also uh, a little bit below, a couple inches below there, uh, there's a little box where you could, it says comment on there. Yeah, that'd also be very great if you could do that. So uh, yeah, I do appreciate if you watch this and uh, I hope I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.